Welcome to the Macabacus Quick Start Guide. This short and interactive course is designed to help you get up and running quickly with the software. We're not going to get into all of the detailed settings that are available. We are going to focus on the critical settings that you need to configure to get up and running super fast. Now, some of you may be really excited to just get started with the software and worry about the settings later. If that's the case, then you could definitely skip ahead to the next course on formatting a financial model. If you're keen and curious about the settings available in Macabacus, then definitely stick with us for this lesson. It's gonna be fun. In fact, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with all of the default Macabacus settings and walk you through step-by-step -step how to get to the settings that we use and recommend here at CFI. Working through this interactive and quick course with us will ensure that you have all of the same settings that we've configured here at CFI, and you're able to match exactly what we're doing in all of the subsequent courses. Let's dive in. Now, let's take a look at the installation and configuration section. The first item on the list right over here is actually a hyperlink. You should be able to click that either from the PDF or from the Excel file if you haven't already installed the software. Let's bring our attention now to the second item on the list. Right down here, this gives us instructions on the activation. So what we wanna do is open up the Excel ribbon. We're gonna hit Control F1 to do that. We're gonna walk up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon and on the right hand side, we're looking for this little key icon. We click on the key icon. This is exactly where you can put your email address in order to activate the software. If the software has been installed and activated, then you are all set. We just included this third line item over here, which is also a hyperlink for people working in admin or IT and wanting to do an enterprise deployment of Macabacus. If enterprise deployment is what you're looking to do, definitely check out that third link. It'll take you over to the Macabacus website where you're gonna find really detailed instructions about how to get that done. For everyone else, let's jump in and take a look at the quick start guide. Now let's jump into a quick print preview so that we can see here the quick start guide page one and page two. We've formatted it to print just on two pages to keep it really concise and to the point. And you might be tempted to print it out and follow along on paper. But actually we're gonna recommend you work with the Excel file that we've provided. That way you can follow along in an interactive fashion and do what we do. For example, let's look at the next section below on keyboard shortcuts. What we may want to do if we look down here is change the fill color and cycle through different options we've configured in the settings, or we could quickly tweak the font color just like that. We want you to be able to follow along and do these steps with us. So this is gonna be fun. We're gonna to work together in an Excel environment and hit some keyboard shortcuts together. We'll see you in the next video. If you're not using keyboard shortcuts to operate your computer, you should definitely start. By pushing your mouse to the back of the desk and letting the keyboard take over, you can really increase your efficiency with your workflow. In fact, there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts even with a native installation of Microsoft Excel. What Macabacus does for us though, it gives us more keyboard shortcuts, it consolidates them all into one convenient location, and we have the ability to customize them exactly to our liking. Let's jump in and take a look at the keyboard shortcuts that are offered and where to find them. There are many places to find keyboard shortcuts in Macabacus. The first and likely most obvious place to look is up in the ribbon. And remember that in the last video, we were quickly changing between blue and black font, and we were also toggling through fill colors. So let's go up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon. We're gonna go across here to format. Under color, we can see right here, the blue black toggle. And as we hover over it, we can see the keyboard shortcut control semicolon. Similarly, we could go here to fill colors. We can see the colors in the fill color cycle, and we can also see control shift K as the shortcut 
for that particular cycle. So this is the first and probably most obvious place to look when you're exploring and learning keyboard shortcuts. Now, while it's fun to explore the ribbon and look through all the sections in the keyboard shortcuts, it may be more convenient to have them all in a consolidated location. There's a number of locations that we can find these in Macabacus. Let's bring our attention down here to the keyboard shortcut section, and we can see the first line item talks about printable PDF that's available. What we wanna do is go up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon. Here under settings, we can click keyboard and then down to print, and we have two options. If we click this first option right here, Excel in Macabacus default shortcuts, what we're gonna get is a really nice two-page printable PDF that has native Excel shortcuts on one side, and then on the second side, we have a list of the most common default Macabacus shortcuts. So if you're just getting started with the keyboard, this first option with the printable PDF is really a great place to start. You can print this out, keep it right next to your workstation and start learning the most common keyboard shortcuts that people use. If you're a more advanced user, then you wanna look right down here at the second option. And in order to get there, we're gonna go up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon, again under settings, keyboard, down to print, and we're gonna click the second option, which actually boots up a little Excel file here. And if we just expand the zoom a little bit, we can see the name of the shortcut, the keystroke in the second column, and then we have everything categorized by numbers, colors, alignment, etc. We also have a ranking of the utility of the shortcut which is really helpful to know which shortcuts are the most useful. Another thing to note that this particular Excel file is showing us our customized Macabacus shortcuts. So if we've made any changes to the keystrokes, they're gonna show up in this Excel file. Let's jump back now to the other Excel file and look at a third option. So this third option down here, the shortcut manager, is where we end up spending most of our time in terms of keyboard shortcuts. We're gonna go back up to settings, just as we did before under keyboard. Let's click here, shortcut manager. It brings up this nice panel on the right-hand side of our computer. And as we can see that same categorization for numbers here, colors, alignment, etc. Keystroke, just like in the Excel file and the utility ranking. But what makes this even better is this is where we could go to click to disable a shortcut or change the keystroke and reassign it with a different keystroke. What we can also do that's really helpful sometimes is we can click here on these column headings and sort by keystroke or over here and sort to get the highest utility keystrokes at the top. Let's close down the shortcut manager and continue on. Remember, if you're not using the keyboard, you should definitely start. It's truly gonna be the key to help you unlock so much efficiency with your workflow. First thing to remember that with Macabacus, we have access to a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Don't be overwhelmed by them. In these training sessions, we're really gonna help you focus on the ones that are best placed to start for getting the job done. Number two, you wanna think about the fact that all of these shortcuts are consolidated for you in one place. It makes it really easy to learn. The other thing and the third thing to keep in mind is that you can, if you like, customize the keyboard shortcuts. Having said that, you may want to think twice before you do this, only because the keyboard shortcuts that are in Macabacus have been very, very well thought out and planned for you. A lot of them match very closely to native Excel shortcuts. So if you're already a keyboard user in Excel, you might find that the learning path is really quick and actually enjoyable to getting up to speed on the Macabacus shortcuts. So we've just finished discussing the keyboard shortcuts. So what we want to do is look down here on the quick start guide. And we can see this note that the default Macabacus shortcuts are shown below in orange. The first ones that we want to bring to your attention are right down here in the interface section. And we want to talk about these first two keyboard shortcuts here in orange. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do may seem a little bit unusual. We're gonna walk up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon over here to the right and click on this pause button. 
Are you sure you want to pause Macabacus? Let's say OK to this dialog. And what we've done just now is paused the software, which can be helpful if you're ever getting performance issues. You could always pause Macabacus just to help diagnose where those issues were coming from. But in fact, we've paused the software here for a different reason. Let's bring our attention down here to this Excel shortcut. In fact, it's a native Excel shortcut. Control Alt minus and equals is going to be able to zoom in and out for us. Now let's bring our attention down to the bottom right hand corner of our Excel interface. And you can see we're on a zoom level of 150%. If we hit Control Alt minus a couple times and equals a couple times, you can see that we're zooming in and out in large, relatively crude increments of 15%. So what we want to do now is back up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon, and we're going to click here, resume, so that the software is working for us again. Now we're going to go into settings and click configure and down the left hand side, we want to click here where it says interface. As we can see, we have control with Macabacus over the zoom interval. By default, it's set down as low as 5%, which we recommend leaving as a default setting. What we can also do is control here whether or not grid lines are hidden automatically. People either love them or hate them. So we can click right in here so the software hides the grid lines automatically for us. Let's click OK here and then OK to this button. So the software is turned back on and now we've lowered the zoom interval down to 5%. So let's test it out. We're going to hit Control Alt minus and the equal sign to zoom out in nice little increments and then zoom back in in small increments. What we can also do, which is really helpful, is we could hold down Control Alt minus and zoom out really quickly and Control Alt equals and zoom back in super fast. Now, another great shortcut that we'd like to highlight is down here, the ability to toggle the grid lines visibility for the selected sheet. And the default is control alt G. So let's give that a shot. Control alt G. We can toggle on or off the grid lines really quickly. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that control alt G is the shortcut that Macabacus is trying to use, but sometimes other applications can be using that shortcut. So that's something to watch out for, as you may need to disable shortcuts in other applications so that they can be used by Macabacus. Now, the settings that we just looked at may seem relatively minor to you, but keep in mind that you may be spending a lot of time in Excel. So it's really important to be comfortable, to be able to toggle off the grid lines if you don't like them, or to be able to move back and forth in and out really, really fast in the spreadsheet. Let's jump over to the next video and start to talk about the accelerator key. We'll see you there.